I'm Velma Dinkley, and this is a documentary of one of our mysteries. That's Scooby-Doo, Red Hello. Jones, and Daphne Blake. Hey, how you doing? Of course, I want to play myself in the movie version, and that's Norville Rogers. It's Shaggy! Like, nobody calls me normal. What's the matter, Norville? <laughs> That's not on tape, is it? Something wrong, Norville. Norville, Norville, Norville. <laughs> Very funny. Norville? <laughs> and to school. Have you heard anything about these woods being haunted? Well, you know, my grandparents used to tell a story about uh, some ten-foot-tall spikes on his arms, monster wandering in the woods. But it was big. The, there was a glow to it. It was just right over the ridge there. The eyes, the eyes would burn a hole in you, just glowing, burning, freakish eyes. Aliens, bioengineering, genetic mutations. I don't know what's going on, but it troubles me. I've heard about a ghost of a Civil War soldier that uh, exists around here. Giant radioactive cat over by the nuclear plant. A kid say he eats off a of lives off of stray dogs, but. I don't know. I don't believe that stuff. Hmm. It doesn't add up. All their stories are different. Oh, right, all right, Ryan Rats. Oh. She said giant cat, not rat, Scooby. That's what I said. Rat. Cat. Well, rat. <laughs> Have you heard these woods are haunted? You kids stay away. Those woods are cursed. I never go near them. Like I bet she never goes near a dentist either. <laughs> okay, the map says the sightings are this way. I got a weird feeling about this. Like these woods don't look like our regular woods. They look different. What are you talking about? Like I don't know. Things just look more realistic. <laughs> yeah, realistic. Come on, guys, it'll be fun. Don't forget, it's my turn to pull off the mask. We are now leaving the van and going into the woods. Bye, Bye van. Bye, van. Like, why do we have to always do these things when it's almost dark? Here's the cemetery where the curse in these woods began. Why, that's really fascinating. Why can't we go now? What do you mean? We're going to camp here. How else can we learn about the curse? Camp here? By a cemetery? Like, I didn't sign on for this. The local legend is that one spooky night, in 1773, Now it's getting late, and we've been walking forever looking for the creature in these woods. Whoever or whatever it is that's trying to scare us. Well, I for one think it's just some farmer who's peeved that we're on his land. Probably that freak with the mutant story. And it didn't help by sticking that camera in his face. Look, I'm just making a visual record here. Of what, Velma? How to get lost, live off the land, and use our dog for a blanket? Why, that reminds me. <laughs> I don't want to sleep outside again tonight, Velma. That gravestone did a number on my back. Uh -huh. You got any great ideas, Mr. Man? Would you please turn that thing off? We need to put up the tent. Tent? Don't you mean tent? Hmm, so much for my beauty rest. You mean we're all gonna pack into one tent like a bunch of sardines? Hmm, <laughs> sardines! Okay, now we're trying to put the tent up before it gets too dark, so I'm gonna keep rolling in case that spook appears. We've got to make sure we put the tent tarp on. Now we're putting the stakes up to hold the tent. Will you please put the camera down, Velma? It might be easier without it. Well, I don't want to miss anything. Shut, Shut it, it off! off! Ah, <sighs> oh, get your feet out of my face. Who got these snack crumbs in my sleeping bag? Scooby? No, it's Raggy. Nuh-uh. It must be Fred. Uh, maybe it's Daphne. Now, why would I complain if it was me? Shaggy, <gasps> watch it! <laughs> Scooby, <laughs> move your paw. <laughs> you over my sleeping bag. You brought a sleeping bag? Like all I have is a rock for a pillow. A rock? <laughs> Wash those feet, Shaggy. Shaggy, take off your shoes. No, leave them on. Sorry. And there it was, standing on a hill above us. Claws raised, luring eyes, and a piercing scream like, like... Like this isn't a ghost story. We were all there. It turned out to be that old ship's captain, remember? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Oh, uh, what's that noise? Get the camera, get the camera. Huh? What is that? Let's split up and check it out. No way, Jose. <laughs> Will someone go out there for a Scooby snack? Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> like, are you out of your mind? Can't you two just go out there dressed up as surgeons and confuse the monster in time to an operating table? You guys do great with monsters. <laughs> We're like in the middle of the woods. Where are we going to find a gurney? I don't know. Improvise. <laughs> you know, Scoob, this is the last time I get suckered into looking for a monster. Ever. Never again. I should be at home watching scary movies, not living in one, and eating some pizza. Yeah, uh, some pizza, a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Hawaiian. The sweet of the pineapple and the salty of the ham together really make it, Scoop. What's that? That's no bird. It, it, that's not funny. Is that a joke? Fred? Daphne? Hello? Monster? Let go of my leg, Scoob! Hey, Scoob! Let go of my leg! Scooby, my, my circulation will move! Scoob! Why, green tree! Green tree! Green tree! hear that? What is that? Fred, wake up. It's right outside the tent. And the tent's open. I'm going outside the tent. Something's outside. Somebody's been in our backpack. They ate our food. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Thanks a lot, Scooby. the mystery for us. He loves doing that. Shh. Ah! Hey again. Okay. Somebody has piled Scooby snacks in weird little piles outside our tent. Like I'm not touching those things. Those are haunted Scooby snacks. That creature touched them. Forget it. They're all yours, Scooby. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did you trick me? Did you put those there? Scoob, did you trick me? Did he trick me? The map says, uh, we should be... The van should be over there. We should be there in an hour. Oh, Velma. That's what you said two hours ago. Come on. The van should be over there. I need a break. My feet hurt. Well, is it our fault you wore high heels on a hiking trip? At least I try to look feminine! You don't know where we are, do you? I know, if we just follow the map... Can we just figure this out and get home? I'm done with monsters and curses! Put a fork in me! I'm done! Yeah, put a fork in me too! Give me the um. map! Like, how can you read this map? 
It's just a dotted line and an X. Let's just keep moving. Wait a minute, I found a clue. Footprints. Wow, like this creature must have ten legs. No, those are our footprints. Those are our footprints. What, you mean we've gone in a big circle? Oh, man, this is so not cool. Yeah, I'm not cool. We're toast, man. Like toast. Fred, give me the map. I don't have the map. I gave it to you. I distinctly remember giving you the map. And I gave it back. Look, I don't want to get mad at you, Velma, so stop kidding. I'm not kidding. I don't have the map. I <laughs> like I ate it, man. Scooby and I ate it with Tabasco. <laughs> yeah, Rabasco. <laughs> <laughs> it was like useless anyway. <laughs> you ate the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we can figure this out. Just, just, just remain calm. You remain calm. I am calm. You're the ones that aren't calm. I'm calmer than you. I'm always calm, man. I'm, I mean, I'm the calm one. I, I, I'm calm. I'm calm. You know, I just realized something. What's that? I just realized that we've been out here, what, seven days? And we haven't pulled a mask off anyone yet. And your point is? I don't know. I guess I miss the little things. How do you mean? Well, you know, every night we find a mystery and bang, 20, 22 minutes later, we solve it and go home. That's simple, not complicated like this. Yeah, whatever happened to ghouls who respected our... Zoinks! We're never gonna get out of here! Zoinks? That's all you have to say, Zoinks? What the heck does that mean, anyway? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you want me to say? Shankies? <laughs> Fred? Daphne? What are you laughing at? <laughs> He's got a point, Velma. You mean to tell me you're not scared? All I'm saying is that there's gotta be a perfectly good explanation. Look out here, guys. What is it? They look like stacks of... Are you sure? Like there's only one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, hold on. We don't know. Like, what... oh, no. No. What? What is this? They're stale. They're completely and totally stale. No. Oh, Wait up, guys. I lost my glasses. Here we go again. Velma, for crying out loud. A glasses strap. How many times have we told you? A glasses strap. Could you just help me look? I can't see without my glasses. Oh, so you mean, could we find your glasses for you? Not now, Freddy. No, 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 wait a minute. She wants us to help her find her glasses, but she's not going to be helping. They're her glasses. She's not going to be helping find them. Like she's blind as a bat without them. It's nighttime, genius. Where'd she go? She wandered off. Velma! Over here! Oh, this is just great. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Velma? There's no food, no clean clothes. I haven't painted my nails in two days. Shh! Did you hear that? Hello? Hello? <coughs> Daphne, Daphne, wait! Daphne, come back! Daphne, stop! Daphne! are coming from this house. Like, let's go in the haunted house in the middle of the night. Now I know why you're the smart one. Hello? Hello? Hey, look, a radio. Maybe we're on the news. Like, oh no, not music. We always get changed when there's music. <laughs> What are you doing? 
abusive kids. Like he didn't say meddling. Doesn't he know the drill? He used the costume to scare people. But one thing doesn't make sense. Why? Because it's Halloween. October 31st, every year. Candy and bobbing for apples. I mean, you guys are dressed up, right? But why did you scare us at the cemetery last night? And goodies. Well, if you didn't do it, then who? <laughs> a dirt road. Search parties have spent several days searching the woods and found hundreds of Scooby snacks, but no trace of the teenage sleuths have been found.